Hello everyone, my name is Max Kravchenko. I've compiled a series of three lessons on NASA's Logotype animation from the Logo Animation in After Effects course. You'll learn interesting tricks that I have used for this animation. In the previous lesson, we created the trail from the UFO and the distortions of the galaxy. In this lesson, you'll find out how to create speed lines. Let's get started. I've made the speed lines in the same way as the trail in the previous lesson, that is, with the help of path property. If you have an old version of After Effects, you can use the 3D Stroke plugin. The lines will reveal approximately when the circle disappears. With the help of the pen tool, we'll create a path from the top of the composition to the center. I'll turn on the solo mode and place the beginning of the layer into the right moment. Let's add the Trim Path modifier and use it to create an animation. Then let's add Repeater to multiply the line. You may set any number of copies you like. I'll create five of them. Go to the Transform settings and set Position to zero and set the rotation of the copies. I'll center the path so that the copies rotate correctly. Let's adjust the line. For this, go to Shape, Stroke, Taper. Set Start Length as well as End Length to 50%. Now let's animate Trim Path. I'll create keyframes for the end parameter. At the beginning, I will reveal the lines by 30% so that they are visible in the first frame. Next, let's move three frames forward and set the parameter to 100. In the same frame, let's animate Start from 0 to 100. To add variety to the lines, I'll apply the Wiggle Transform modifier. I'll place it at the bottom so that it's applied to the repeater. I'll set the Wiggle second parameter to zero. This parameter is responsible for the transform animation of the Wiggle modifier. If the value is zero, the animation will be turned off. Now we can slightly adjust rotation and scale along one of the axes. You can use the random seed parameter to modify Wiggle Transform in the range of the current settings. In this way, you can make the same lines look different. I'll group the lines. For this, I'll press the Ctrl G shortcut. Great! Now I'll create additional lines. There will be more of them, but they will be shorter. Let's duplicate the group and increase the number of copies in the repeater. I'll disable Wiggle Transform for now so that I can conveniently adjust the repeater. Next, let's adjust Wiggle Transform. I'll make the lines shorter. For this, reduce the size of path. Let's work on the animation keyframes. Make a slight offset so that the lines appear a bit later. Also, let's make them invisible at the beginning. Trim the layer, so we've got the first speed lines. The next ones will reveal and disappear more quickly, creating an acceleration effect. I'll rename the layer to Lines. Now I'll create new lines. To do this, I will duplicate the layer and remove unnecessary elements. I'll delete Group 2 since I don't need it. In order to increase the acceleration effect of the lines, I'll make them longer at the moment of revealing. I'll reduce their number making only three copies. Let's move the lines. I'll disable Wiggle Transform until I adjust rotation.
make them longer at the moment of revealing and accelerate them by adjusting the animation keyframes. Place the layer so that the animation overlays the previous one until the latter disappears. As a result, it lasts only 3 or 4 frames. You can even make the space in the center larger by moving the lower point of the path. Here we go. Let's rotate the whole group. Place the anchor point of the group into the center for correct rotation. Go to the transform of group 1 and adjust rotation. Thus, I will make the lines as diverse as possible. Since I cannot move the main line with the help of the repeater, and Wiggle Transform does not do it very well. Now we can turn on Wiggle Transform to add variety. These small Wiggle Transform adjustments do not seem critical at first glance. However, when you have enough copies, it will be easier to diversify them. There is no point in repeating all the values from the lesson. The main thing is to understand the principle and get something similar. Let's move on. Duplicate the layer and move it one frame forward. These lines will be shorter, but there will be more of them. Let's adjust both the number of copies and their position. I'll make the path shorter, something like this. and I will increase the number of copies. Great, let's see what we've got at the moment. Okay. Let's duplicate the layer with long lines, offset it, and slightly adjust the parameters so that it does not repeat. Next, duplicate short lines, I'll also adjust the values of the modifiers in order to make the lines look different. To correctly adjust the length of the path, I will need to reset the rotation of the group. In the same way, alternating longer and shorter ones let's create copies of the lines, trying to make them diverse. I'll arrange the copies in such a way that they do not intersect with each other and look appealing. I won't demonstrate to you the process because I'll do the same actions. And that's what we've got. As a result, the animation of the lines takes 15 frames. The principle of creating is simple, but it takes a lot of time to set up the lines, so they look well-balanced do not overlap each other and do not repeat since I needed to create kind of random lines. You can download the project by clicking the link in the description. If you want to create logo animation, enroll in the logo animation in After Effects course. And that's all for now. See you!